Here we are, we're farming. We don't even have the game up yet. I'm right clicking, I'm, I'm loading it. I have to admit there's nothing else to do even though I hate sap. I mean, here's the thing. First off, I love sap. Secondly, Wild Frost, every run is like 90 minutes. Darkest Dungeon 2, God rest his soul, every run is three hours. Tape to tape, the runs are like minimum um, 30 minutes, but that's if you lose. Like starting a run with 30 minutes left in the stream is disastrous. You know, you're basically like you're begging for a loss. It's like starting an Isaac run with five minutes. Run this for now. Okay, freeze me. I'll be like a boring investor. So true. I can't... I got something stuck in my keyboard. I can't lower my, my volume the way I used to. Okay, pop this. It's like I'm trying to lower the volume, but the wheel's getting stuck on like a little piece of beef jerky or something. Roll me again. We'll do it like this. How dirty is the keyboard? I mean, it's not that dirty. It has a lot of cat hair on it, which is very annoying for me. Because my cat, uh, Ruka in particular, loves to sleep on top of my keyboard. Like, I, I come back to my office after being away for a few hours, and it, it's just like he's got his paw on, like, the 8 key, and then in the Discord it just says 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 like, over and over and over. It's, uh, it's very annoying to me, and I say, Hey, you, Harlem Pepper, get off the keyboard! But he does not get off the keyboard. I just enjoy a Storka. So why don't you throw throw me a Storka right here? I know it's a little, it's an interesting looking squad for sure. How about an egg on you? Custom keyboard? Not a custom keyboard, just a regular old, it's a Logitech of some sort. It has a G in the top left corner. I would not describe myself necessarily as a, as a keyboard Andy. I'm really just a guy, honestly. Why don't you take a croissant? We'd like to incentivize you sticking around. Not that concerned about a sea turtle, but it probably does beat a, uh, a duck in this situation. Sure, why not? You ever tried a custom keyboard? I've not. Um, but it just doesn't seem like... Uh, doesn't seem like something that's necessarily for me. You know what I mean? I've, I've never noticed a problem with the real keyboard. Or the, I guess I shouldn't say real. I've never noticed a problem with the, an out-of-the-box keyboard. How about... How about... Catch me outside. How about that? How about a level? Into a rooster? Ro rooster spawn team is kind of looking a little slick with it. I would, I would get rid of a mosquito for that. My kangaroo. My kangaroo's going sicko mode. I know when asked about his opinion on any given thing, I'm just a guy. It's, I hate to be this guy, it's mostly just nerd things. I'm not just trying to be like a hater, but it's particular, it's when people are like, hey, what's your mouse? Wait, how many buttons have you got on your mouse? And I'm like, I don't know, like two that I use in a scroll wheel and then a, like there's two more that I don't really know what they do. And people are like, what are your opinions on like, you know, the discounted cash flow model? And then I start to talk about it like an insane person and people are like, shut up, shut up. Who's your favorite stand? And I'm like, I don't know what that is. And they're like, oh, NL's opinion on everything. I don't know anything. And I'm like, I know things. It's just not about the shit that you know about, okay? I do okay in conversation in real life with other normies. It's just on the platform I've chosen to tether myself to that I get, uh, I get roasted all day. 
You don't you don't get to shoot my pill bug, okay? There are many like it, but this one is mine. Bat chest. Who's your favorite homestuck troll? Barry? I was just taking a shot in the dark. Are you really calling yourself an, a normie? I would say that I'm twisted by normie standards, but normie by Twitch standards. Like, it's always funny to me that, like, whenever I, I come up in other circles, people are like, man, NL's like the most normal streamer. And I'm like, that might be true, but that's just because this website is full of, like, truly insane people. It's a bicycle key? Hello, honey. For my bicycle? Well, thank you. You got a bicycle key for my bicycle? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now this is, we're, we're kind of going all in here. I'm buying an apple on turn eight. It's not uh, the kind of trick that a Jedi would teach you about. How was your daycare today, honey? This bulldog's going crazy. He's not going that crazy. Uh, he's going crazy enough to stop me, I think. Uh oh. Okay. And then she always starts with, she's doing very well. And I go, phew, all right, time to go home. And she's like, oh, but wait. And then she goes, uh, we, we need some variety for her lunch. Because yesterday you gave her pasta. Right, yeah. And then today you gave her pasta again. So, like, put some variety so she doesn't get sick of it. She's and I was like, what, what the hell, man? She's <laughs> eating better than. Me or Ryan. She is doing some... Well, she's not eating better than me, but, like, g go on. And then... My diet's in a pretty good place right now. And then, uh, you know how the whole thing about her is, like, don't put the food to the yogurt? Right, yeah, I've heard I that. like, what do you mean variety? What do you want from me? And then she's like, you know, you can put some blueberry in the yogurt. And I'm like, nah, you're asking me to put blueberry in the yogurt? It's crazy. I was like... What do you want me to do? Like, uh, you told me to don't put the fruit in the yogurt, and now you're telling me to put in the yogurt? Which, what, what, am I, what am I supposed to do here? And then, uh, you know, she's like, change the meat. You know, she doesn't like the meat, so give her some, like, different types of meat. And I was like, oh, like, you mean, like, lunch meat? And she's like, oh, I don't like those. Maybe you can give her, like, lunch meat once a week. And I'm just like, how many people in your chat eating lunch meat every day for their sandwich? I don't know. Well, I don't know if we need to get into all that. I don't know why <laughs> she's like, lunch meat is like no good. Play the doorbell game. She's eating your daughter's lunch. <laughs> That, you know what? That's like a Seinfeld bit right there. What if she is eating our daughter's lunch? And then she's like, she's like oh, too much little, pasta lately. Yeah, it was like a little unsalted. Put some salt in your pasta. Hey, if you could use Pecorino Romano instead of uh, Parmesan Reggiano next time, that would be great, please. Some of the kids here have an allergy to Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> saying like oh you know maybe ro rotini you, maybe you could change the type of pasta from like rotini to you know linguini or something and i'm just like i, I thought i was like a server oh i understand she is uh she is very demanding and then in the morning she was like oh you dress your daughter so nicely it's so cute where did you buy those clothes after the when i picked her up it was like you're putting your uh, daughter in like way too good clothes. She cannot go and play because she's so self-conscious. Put her in like cheap clothes so she can get dirty. Hmm. And I'm just like, what, what if you say you like the clothes in the morning and now you're saying so I should put her in like a cheap clothes? This situation 
needs to get resolved as soon as possible. Because <laughs> her problem is becoming my wife's problem. Ergo, it's becoming my problem. Okay, we're, we're officially all in. How about a little of this? A little bit of this? A little bit of that? Started with the kiss. That's all in the game of love. Not sure if you're familiar, Chib, with uh, Vanessa Carlton featuring Carlos Santana. Maybe yes, maybe no. I'm not washed anymore. Have you noticed that? Are you guys only seeing British producers or do you actually get the good stuff? What the hell does that mean? Are you guys only seeing British producers or do you get the good stuff? Are you... Do you have like two tabs open right now and one of them is like... Uh, Glastonbury EDM Festival. British Produce! British Produce! I, to be honest with you, I don't know if we even get, like, any British Produce. We get a lot of Mexico. We get, uh... I should just be buying food. This is super lethal. We get a lot of, uh, California. Double, double apple, I guess. I don't think we import a lot of vegetation from from Britain, though. But I don't know. I, I'm. I'd have to check uh, our tradal archives. We got a ten piece. I don't believe it. The odds were stacked against us. <laughs> I don't even know what we did on this. Uh, Encounter and yet we got there. You've unlocked British wig. Is British produce okay with the daycare lady? I don't know, man. It's just like we're we've been going through like a lot lately. It's been a very busy, stressful like four weeks. It'll be it'll be a relief when our daughter is fully in this daycare full time and we can return to normal life. Maybe like a a, a broken baguette. Hey, step on itis. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I happily accept my draw. There's too many horses. I don't understand why the daycare is messed up. Well, like in many ways, like me neither. Like, she pivoted daycares because our old daycare was going to take, like, a, an extended holiday that was going to leave us without daycare for, like, almost the entire summer. So we said, we'll just bite the bullet and uh, we'll pivot daycares early. So we got into this new daycare. And then she's like, well, there's an adjustment period that can sometimes take up to two weeks. And we're like, that's fine. But, like, she's been... She started with, like, an hour a day, then two hours a day, then, like, pre-lunch, then... Then she can stay and, like, eat lunch and leave right after lunch. And then, like, sometime this week she's going to eat lunch and then she's going to have a nap. We'll pick her up after the nap. We're, like, like day by day we're getting to, like, picking her up at 4.30 or 5 p.m. And I'm, like, I mean, I, it's, it's hater parlance, but I feel like I need to phone the daycare and be, like, people... I, <laughs> this is phrasing. <laughs> I wouldn't, I don't want to say people work for a living, but like, had, have you ever done this before? Because like the only reason we're able to do this is because of the fact that we work like abnormal jobs with, uh, you know, flexible hours that are not even that flexible anymore. Like when you get somebody whose mom is just like, you know, an accountant or something, are they just like, well, I guess... I'm, I heard all that, but I'm just going to put them in and pick them up at five because I paid you. Like, I guess other people are just more assertive. This run seems kind of cracked so far. Wow, 
Why don't you just go straight up level three? That's like, we couldn't really have asked for more than this. I think we want to go this, this, and this. I don't have enough. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, I didn't even freeze it! Oh, that you are my bitch mother. <clears throat> Daycares are so whack. We had problems with ours too. Like, bro, I'm paying you to watch my kid. Just watch my kid. I know, I don't understand why she's giving my wife, like, like food advice for our kid. Like, one of the days we, um... Kate gave her like a quesadilla and then our daughter said, I don't like the quesadilla. And then the daycare lady to my wife was like, you need to pack her stuff that she actually enjoys eating. I'm like, okay, well, like what is your ass gonna say when we pack a, a lunchbox that's got like seven chocolate bars in it? How about you just feed her the stuff that we gave you and like don't think about it so much. Like you don't, you don't worry yourself about the parenting stuff. Just make sure, like, they don't die during the seven or eight hours that they're at your facility. And we'll handle, like, the, the parent thing. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Which is right now, it's very frustrating because we were, like, really stressed out. And then... She's like, by the way, consider using like ground turkey instead of ground pork in the pasta. And we're like, really? That doesn't seem like pertinent right now. Give me more chickens, maybe? More... I'd, I'd like to, we should be buying things that give us a benefit instead of just rolling and wasting our time. Okay, that was a pretty busted round. Especially because the meat ended up being useless. Imagine though, imagine if we somehow... St no, the kangaroo's gonna eat us alive. Maybe she is eating the lunch, man. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be accusatory, but I, there's a chance. Why don't you take that? Man, I wish I had a second turtle right now. I do. I don't even think we want the sheep here. I think we, I think we want to, well, let's just give it a try. Anyway, it'll, Doug, we appreciate your patience as we've been working through this. The daycare is not the only thing that has us stressed out right now, but it's, uh, it's definitely not helping. Let's put it that way. Send her with a spy cam? No, do I have shit to do. <laughs> It's the whole reason that we got the daycare in the first place is because my my ass is busy, my wife's ass is busy. Or we would, would prefer to be busier, quite frankly. I don't have time to daycare the daycare. I just want the daycare to daycare my child. We're insane at this game. By the way, hello, Chibli. Hello. Two level two roosters, perhaps. Mayhaps. People still say that? Do they still say mayhaps? Or is that like an... Is that an antediluvian thing? Chibli knows I'm busy. I haven't even stepped foot in Chibli's stream for like uh, a month now. It's absurd. I, I miss ducking in for... Here's the way that my experience on Chibli stream would typically go. I would pop in for a second and say, um, Hello, Chibli. And then I wouldn't even have my headphones on. At which point, he would then say something that was, like, targeted towards me. And I would get added by lots of people. But I wouldn't hear it. Why don't you drop this in here? And then, oh, we don't need this turtle anymore. This doesn't really make sense. <laughs> and then I would leave for two hours, and then I would come back, and I would repeat the process. But I haven't even had a, a chance to do that lately. 
what a shot. What a shot. We got this? I go to Chib's chat to roast him daily? That's just a lie. Nobody roasts Chibli. He's the most uh, loved streamer on the on the platform. Even when he like fails at drawing a clock, everybody's like, don't worry about it. You'll get him next time. Then meanwhile, travel for me is like, I want to travel from Canada to Papua New Guinea. And I'm like, oh, step one, I have to go to America. People are like, dumbass. Canada borders France via St. Pierre and Miquelon. Why didn't you start in St. Pierre and Miquelon and go to France and then you take France to uh, Germany and then Germany to Poland and Poland to fucking, I don't know, you get to Russia and then you're basically in Papua New Guinea. You, this, I didn't want to have to complete like the whole joke. I know we're at eight wins. Freeze both of these bad boys. Turkey's just a better horse. Not for riding. Look at that, I got a turkey anyway. Y'all can stop your complaining. This could be okay. I'm not washed. Okay, you would be fine if I had to. I'm gonna have to, and that's that's a okay. I'll put you here in case you spawn something useful. Please, please. I need this today. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Did you hear what we're going through with the damn daycare? What a shot. I think we did it. We did it. I'm crazy with it. The Giga win. Just give me that. I right, right out of the gates, I enjoy it. Maybe like a sniffing sardines. Ew, ew. They care more like they care too much about how you raise your daughter. Okay, that's a plus two. But even still, I'm annoyed because we're raising our daughter fine. It's not like we're like, uh, you know, just letting her sit there. Like we're... <laughs> We just gave her pasta two days in a row. And she's like, you gotta just give her some variety. I said, pasta two days in a row? That's like, you know, there's people out there that eat pasta like 30 days in a row. They live in a country called Italy. Maybe you've heard of it. I don't really like tamarind. I'm gonna try something a little psycho here. And I, it, it is a little psycho. I feel called out. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating pasta two days in a row or, or 30 days in a row. I'm a, I'm a normal, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Normal's probably not it. I'm like a routine eater. I could eat the same thing for dinner seven nights a week and as long as I enjoy it and not get... Uh, not get too concerned about it. Like, I don't... My parents definitely are of the opinion, the position, that, like, you have to have some... If you had salad last night, you can't have a salad tonight. So I grew up, and it would be like... You would eat... On Monday, let's just say you would have, like, chili. Then on Tuesday, you can't have chili. So you would have, like, let's say, some curry. Then, on Wednesday, you would eat the leftover chili, and on Thursday, you would eat the leftover curry. For me, it, that's just, it, it extends the amount of time that a food is in the fridge. I don't like to carry that much food debt in my refrigerator. When I, and we, we don't do this because my wife is normal and I'm insane, but when I'm home alone, I cook like a chili and then for dinner, I have chili. And then for lunch the next day, I have chili. And then for dinner the next night, I have chili. 
And I just, I'm, breakfast, I'll mix it up because I got to eat faster. I can't afford to be warming stuff up. I'll just have a bowl of Vector or something instead. But for lunches and dinners, I'm like, chili, 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 chili. She's like, eh. Finally, I suggested sushi, the food I knew she wanted to eat anyway. And she's like, if that's what you want. Maybe, maybe there's, there's worms in this one. Daryl. <laughs> I named seven other cuisines. No, Greg. Okay, this bulldog is gonna own us. I wish my girlfriend liked sushi. I would say it's like a blessing and a curse. I think Chibli could make like a joke about it. The joke could be like, women love sushi. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole joke. <laughs> my impression of a woman. Do you feel like sushi tonight? This is Chibli's joke, not mine, okay? Don't cancel me. Women will be doing something else and then out of nowhere say something crazy like, do you want to eat sushi tonight? See, we're getting there. There's, there's a joke coming out of this somewhere. They do be loving sushi. They won't let me say it, but you can say it. I mean, you could, you could flip the script too. Men will really go to, they'll be like, oh, I've been craving steak all week. Yeah, I'd, oh, this steakhouse is so good. You want to go to this steakhouse with me? It's such a great steakhouse. Then when they get there, they'll like, I'll take the burger. Shit makes me sick. It's the greatest steakhouse in the city. Oh, what are you gonna, what are you gonna have, sir? Sir, for you? Uh, we have a great New York strip tonight. We have a dry aged ribeye. We do all the dry aging in house. Oh, um, I'll take the burger. Uh, of course you will, yes. And, and what will you have as a side, sir? I was thinking the French fries. Very good, very good, sir. What am I doing with this run? I'm losing, aren't I? That's what I'm doing. Why am I being called out? I'm not calling anybody out. You're calling yourself out. We don't need a level two horse. That can also leave. We can replace it with a skunk. You could give us a level at some point. You move to the front, you move back. Okay, food for worms, boys. Food for worms. Curly or straight cut. If they got curly and it's not much of an upcharge, I prefer to go a little curly. I just, I know all curly fries are the same, but perhaps that's why I enjoy them all the same. A curly by any other name would sound as, would taste as sweet. Sure, but the burger's 18 bucks and the steak is 45. You're the one who wanted to go to a steakhouse. Your wife would have been perfectly fine just going to the sushi restaurant. But no, you had sushi too much recently. Dad, Big Daddy wants to eat a steak. Then when he gets there, he orders a burger. She's getting the ick, bro. She's getting the ick. Some of this. Feed me. We're gonna lose. <laughs> I'm realizing now we have already lost. Looking pretty bad. Wait, looking pretty possible? Looking pretty doable? Also, sushi's expensive. I, f I forget we live in different parts as well. Our daughter likes to be thrown onto the bed. Mm, okay. Is that a good opportunity to... Oh, yeah. Oh, like that. Is that a good opportunity to get some, some frustration out today? No. All right, well... I was actually just having a pure fun. What happened to the bubbly can? I crushed it because I got mad at Chad. But oh I... Oh my god! <laughs> did you show Chad? I did. I held it up to the camera and went... Oh my god! What kind of violence? It's the violence! That was your blood! Our daughter ripped the cabinet door from our kitchen. <laughs> 
kitchen or our, her kitchen. Our daughter did rip off a cabinet door in her kitchen. And I said, what the heck was that? And then she <laughs> said, the cabinet is better without the door. And I'm like, how did you do that? She's pretty strong. It's your, that's your blood. That's your DNA. Crazy stuff. And also in my DNA, she made you fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I, I don't have to have a ten piece. Just not. Don't don't embarrass me, okay? Don't embarrass me. My wife knows better than to give me a screwdriver. Tell Kate the sushi bit. I'm sure the first like hour of her stream is always just chatting. I'm sure she will. Uh, I'm sure she'll hear about it. Let's put it that way. But she's gonna, first she's gonna roast me a little bit. I could, I, here's my prediction for how it would go down. She's gonna be like, yeah, I like sushi, but if I let Ryan order uh, the food, he would always order something I don't like, like Nando's, which is literally just like roasted chicken and potatoes. And then someone in the comments would be like, actually, he mentioned that he likes to eat Mexican food. And she'll go, yeah, that's pretty true. He does like to eat Mexican food, but I don't know. Like, sometimes you get the Mexican food, I just don't get it. It's just like, it's tortillas and cheese. Like, it's not really to my liking that much. And then he's, she's going to have to admit at some point that she does always go for sushi if she's choosing the, the meal. It's like a 100% certainty. So just like... I'm, I'm fully prepared for it, and none of that was a lie on her end, by the way. Bro, stop pre-moving. I, I go, uh, this, 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 here, here, here. They move here, I go here. I don't, I don't, I don't watch a lot of chess in the modern era. I think we just lost. Certainly seems like it. OMG. <laughs> she pooped a big one? No! Please win faster? Well, I lost faster.